today we're going to talk about the housing market in uh, in the Bay Area as well as nationally. So my name is Lynn Watanabe McFarlane, and I'd like to be your life's transitional specialist in real estate. Uh, I grew up in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, and um, and I now live in the Santa Cruz County side. So um, if you would like some help learning about the different communities in the San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area please feel free to reach out to me. Um, these are the different organizations that I belong to, as well as I'm a um, professional fiduciary affiliate with Silicon Valley. My brokerage is Intero. So let's get started. So we're gonna talk about a little bit about the national economy. Since January, we see that there was a V-shaped curve. Um, I've discussed this earlier. Um, since the March 16th, our um, SIP shutdown, we have recovered quite a bit. There was a 32% consumer spending has decreased since of January, but we have rebounded and economists believe that it, we will bounce back and we have, and we still are. So this is October and we see that we're only down uh, 3%. The consumer spending is only down 3%. So people are, have been using this time to really reflect and think about uh, how they're using their homes. And what's interesting is that we find that the US FICO scores have gone up. And you may wonder, well, how is that possible with you know people being sheltering in place for several months now? And we found that people have been using uh, their stimulus checks to pay down debt, which is really very clever and smart. Um, folks have been using the stimulus checks to strengthen their financial position. We see that right here, 29% spent their money, but 35% over here on their debt and 36% they saved their money. So uh, people are becoming much more house conscious and more aware of how they're spending their time in their homes and uh, how they live through these spaces. So they're putting more value into their homes. Another interesting thing uh, is that here we are in Silicon Valley, the land of innovation and entrepreneurs are um, really having time to work at home, but they're innovating. And so there's a common saying that when there's a downtime in economy, this is time to build and this is time to innovate. And we see that, look at all the business applications in the United States gone skyrocket, rocketed up in 2020. So people um, are doubling down and really investing in, um, in their businesses, which is very smart. And um, Silicon Valley, we're known to being entrepreneur and having that, you know, bootstrap attitude. Um, so there's four different um, components to this market recovery. We have demand, supply, price, and the time on market. Once again, we see that home appreciation prices, the predictions, they have been updated. And we see that, you know, Zillow used to think that it was, you know, uh, in the negative scores, but now they're saying that uh, home appreciation would be up 7%. But, um, you know, all of them have gone up. Why is that? It's, it's because that Fed is stimulating the economy and people are thinking about how they're using their homes. Supply of lists will increase substantially entering the new year, considering um, new construction, including new construction. And uh, that could lower demand. It's, it's very low nationally as well. Um, and uh, let's, but let's take a look at California in particular the Bay Area. Um, so in California, we see that sales are up and unsold inventory takes about two months and the median um, days on market is only 11 days. So you have um, less than two weeks, really like a week. You have one weekend of showing and, um, and, it's, and it's been difficult. So um, the sales price in, uh, California is about 100% the ratio of sales price to list price. Okay, in the Bay Area, 34% year-to-year um, home sales. That means that's fantastic. Over here, 101.5% um, list to uh, sales price. So you're going to have to, if you see a home that you like, you're going to have to bid over the list price. And it's very specific to each location. So. Um, 
ask your realtor or ask me if you are interested in buying or selling a particular property. I'll give you a specific report. But here, here we go here. Um, look at this huge 34% increase. This is the fastest, um, fastest gain in a decade. Um, no surprise, we bounce back quickly. And here we see the San Francisco Bay Area right here. In September 2020, the sales price has, uh, has increased 34% as supply in homes drop. Um, so it dropped down 30, 32% down. So inventory is low. So there's a huge demand. Um, so if you are thinking about selling your home, I would highly advise you to, you know, if you can, uh, put it on the market before even spring. So we see here, this was a sweet spot, but this is even lower. And why is that? It's because there's low inventory right now. And, um, and it's great for you sellers. Um, you know, a lot of sellers are still hesitant and there's, but there's low competition. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I put a QR code if you want to know what your um, property is worth. Um, go ahead and text me. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks. Have a great day.